Hey, it's me, Hannah. Oh, wait, what? Hannah, you said you would see us in two weeks. It's not been a full two weeks, what gives? Well, this week I'm doing something a little bit different. This weekend I'm going to the Maryland Renaissance Fair, but this isn't just gonna be a Ren Fair vlog. There's a twist. I am so excited to be collaborating with my friends Minji and Cell, Moss Fairy and Copper Cosmonaut here on YouTube and on all of the other social media platforms and competing with them to put together the best Ren Faire outfit for the best value. Let me explain a little bit further. To kick things off, let me introduce our sponsor, Dark Cottage, who has graciously provided us with our face layer. Dark Cottage is a small fashion brand that designs gothic, witchy, fantasy, and elven inspired clothing with a focus on functionality and comfort. Their clothing is fair trade and handmade and kind of bridges the gap between the gothic and the fantasy fashion girlies. Their clothes are made for the village witch and the cottagecore dreamers with a dark aesthetic. And these pieces aren't just made for special occasions like the Ren Fair. You can check out their witchy and fantasy inspired clothing at darkcottage.com and follow them on Instagram and other platforms at Dark Cottage Clothing. All right, so for the competition, each of us gets a budget of $500 to put together an outfit, starting with a base layer from Dark Cottage, which we will wear into the Maryland Renaissance Fair. Then we get to spend our Ren Fair day the way we normally would, eating turkey legs, drinking mead, and shopping. Just this time specifically to add to our base layer and build the best Ren Fair fit we can. I'll get more into the details of how we plan to score this competition later on, but for now, please enjoy my dream shopping montage. So I put a poll out on Instagram to kind of help guide me in my shopping, get a little inspiration together. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so that you can, you know, stay involved and help me make these kinds of decisions in the future. So based on the results of that poll and the number of votes that I got back, I've decided to go with sort of a dark huntress, like ranger look in the character that I'm trying to build while I'm here at the Ren Fair. I'm thinking dark neutrals, sort of fantasy athleisure wear and leather, plenty of leather. And if I can manage it, um, some sort of weaponry, maybe like a knife or if I can find one, a bow and arrow would be sick. <laughs> and using that as inspiration, I think I found my top for my base layer. This is the Elven Blade Tunic from Dark Cottage. If you are so inclined, and I'm sure you are because you have great taste. I'm trying to decide between these two leggings. This is the, these are the coven leggings and these are the, these are the elven blade leggings. So do I just keep the outfit going? Do I switch it up? I'm gonna try some stuff on. Okay, these are sick. Are you kidding? I'm, I'm obsessed. They're so comfortable and they have pockets. And I can't even express to you how important pockets are at the Ren Fair. I'll be able to hold my phone, hold my, you know, my wallet, all of my credit cards and cash, a map. I'm stoked. I'm stoked on these. This is priced at $80. And these, also $80. So already about $160 into my budget. But I feel good about this. I think this is a great base layer. Yeah, um, you're coming home with me. And these will help with um, my concern about being a little chilly at the fair if I do go with a short sleeve option. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. We've got a 56% chance of rain, 53% cloudy, and within the next two hours, we'll go up to 100% cloudy and 63% chance of rain. Yeah, it's just supposed to rain basically until three. So we're here at our French tailgate. 
Sparkle. Thank you. you ready? <laughs> Competition. Competition. Okay, so I started off with a dark cottage base. I've got my elven blade tunic, elven blade leggings, and the conjurer's fingerless gloves. I then added the Maresca hooded cowl. Wanted to make sure I had a little bit of leather in there, uh, so I got this leather pauldron from Holy Cow. I wanted a little nature as well, so I picked up this bone earring from um, bo -bo 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 -bo, what's it called? Dry Bones. Dry Bones. I picked this up from Dry Bones add a touch of it. it feels like something you would have found on the ground out in the woods. Uh, I also got this ranger tag. A little on the nose, but I'll take it. In case, in case you got confused about what I was going for. Sure. And then um, I got a hand axe 
with a Norse compass on it, so I'll be striking true when I swing it. I can't have it out during the fair, so I Could put I it in it my car. Can I see it with the hood on? Of course. I need to get that whole picture there. Oh, that's a lot of hood. <laughs> I love Run Fair Days so much. I had such a blast with my friends doing this extremely competitive contest. Huge thank you to Ophelia for acting as our judge for this competition. Towards the end of the day, Ophelia ranked our outfits without knowledge of how much money we spent but rather just how well we were able to convey the characters we were going for. <laughs> like, I think all together it sells well as a ranger. I feel like I am most distracted by, like, not like, distracted in a good way. Um, like the patterns on the gloves and the leggings. Like without that, I think that it would be a much more simple uh, overall outfit, but with the patterns, it kind of rounds everything out and also works well with the pulp. Again, I think the ranger tag's a little on the nose, but like I'll take it, it's kind of funny, and I kind of enjoy it. Good. <laughs> Amazing. Cell was of course aiming for more of a witchy warlock sort of character, while Minji was using moon goddess Artemis as her inspiration for her character's look. After providing some feedback for each person, Ophelia ranked Minji in third, me in second, and Cell in first. You can check out Cell and Minji's channels linked below to see their feedback and get more details about their outfits too. But based on those rankings, Minji was awarded 5 points, I was awarded 15 points, and Cell was awarded 25 points. But Ophelia's judgment wasn't the only thing taken into consideration when scoring this competition. We were also awarded additional points for supporting as many of the fair artisans and sellers as we could. However, we ended up just tying on this front, having all supported 5 different small businesses. Lastly, as I mentioned up top, we had a budget to stick to. Having only spent only spent $491 in total. I was $9 under budget and therefore awarded nine points. Cell was also under budget and awarded some extra points while Minji was over budget and actually got negative points. So the final standings left Minji in third, me in second, and Cell in first. Check out their videos and then come back and drop a comment. And let me know who you think should have really won. But truly at the end of the day, we all feel like we're winners because we were all able to support some really cool small businesses and get some really cool gear. I know I spent a pretty good chunk of change throughout this competition, but I wanna highlight the fun in showing up to the Ren Fair in a relatively basic look, whether it's an awesome base layer from Dark Cottage or maybe a thrifted billowy shirt and pair of trousers or just a dress you have in your closet already. It's just fun to kind of build upon your outfit and build up a character throughout the day. I also wanna point out that you don't have to dress up at all for Ren Faire and you can still have a really enjoyable day. Darling husband decided to forego any sort of costume and he still tossed a rat and drenched a wench and enjoyed a nice ale. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that Ren Faire is for everyone and everyone should go try to support their local Ren Faire if you're able to. I'm very happy with my ranger haul and I had such a good time at the fair running around and competing with my friends. And if you had as much fun as I did, it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. And if you do, I will see you in two weeks for my next video. Take care.